The city of Jerusalem was seething with people. Jews from near and far were arriving for the week-long Passover festival. Just when it seemed that the narrow streets could hold no more, fresh batches of pilgrims surged in. The city was buzzing with the latest story about Jesus. He'd actually brought back to life a man who'd been dead and buried for four days. As soon as the news arrived that Jesus was on his way, an excited crowd set off to meet him. Jesus and his disciples got as far as Bethany. Go into the village, Jesus told two of his disciples. Bring me the young donkey that you will find tied up near his mother. If anyone asks what you're up to, tell them that the master needs it. The disciples did as Jesus said. When the bystanders heard that it was Jesus who wanted the donkey, they gladly let him go. Then the disciples brought the donkey back to Jesus and they spread their coats on his back to make a saddle. The donkey was not frightened when Jesus climbed onto his back, even though nobody had ridden him before. The pilgrims who had journeyed with Jesus began to jostle and cheer as they all began the steep climb into the city. Long ago, the prophet Zechariah had foretold that one day the true king would come, not galloping on a war horse, but riding a donkey. Jesus was showing all who had eyes to see that he was that king entering his capital in peace. The crowd from Jerusalem hurried down to join the new arrivals and the whole huge procession moved forward again with cheers and shouts. Some went ahead and threw down their cloaks to make a royal road for Jesus. Others stripped branches from the trees to strew on the path and to wave in the air. Hosanna, they cried. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. At last, the little donkey with the king on his back entered the streets of Jerusalem. <laughs>